Hello and welcome to another video on Microsoft Fabric. And in today's video, we are going to discuss the loading of data from a local database to lake house. And the local database which I have is the SQL Server. Now to load such data to lake house or warehouse, you need on-premise gateway. So what is on-premise gateway? So on-premise gateway basically provide you a facility to transfer your data from your on-premise databases or on-premise files to the service Power BI service. Now Power BI service is also fabric service now or fabric online version. We only have the online version for the fabric. So uh, it is going to transfer the data there. So make sure that uh, you have installed the on-premise gateway. So you can search Power BI on Promise Gateway and add download to it. On Promise Gateway download, you click on that and then you will get this link. Which you have to use and download and install and you have to install the version which is on release recently. So I'll show you the details. This is the version you have to install because this is the version which is supporting this thing the on-premise gateway version which is actually supporting your Microsoft Fabric for local databases. Okay, so I have done that. I already downloaded and installed it and after you install it will ask for a recovery key and all those things. Post that make sure you are signed in using the login which will allow the data to pass to the Microsoft service. So I have logged in using my own login which I am also using on Power BI service right now because I'm using it on my personal machine. So make sure that you have installed it properly. It is up and running and you are logged in. Once you have made sure everything, then you have to come to Power BI service app.powerbiservice.com and there we will start the process. Now in this today's process, we are going to load the data to a lake house. I'm going to load it to already existing lake house. So I'm going to go to my workspace and the workspace which I'm going to use is 01 fabric. And in 01 fabric, I've created quite a few lake houses and warehouses. So I'm going to use this 03 lake house. Let's see what is already existing so that when we load, we can differentiate. So I have few tables out here, but I'm going to load few more tables and to differentiate those tables from these tables, I'm going to append local behind them. So let's go back to our workspace 01 fabric. And in 01 fabric, I will go to the new and would start a data flow gen 2. So I plan to bring data using Dataflow Gen 2 here. So show all and in the inside the data factory, I have Dataflow Gen 2. I will click on Dataflow Gen 2. And once it's get loaded, then I'll say import data from SQL Server. I can use the quick option which is available there or I can go to get data and more or get data and SQL Server. Any which ways it will lead you here. Then you have to give local host. That's what I'm giving here. Then I'm going to give my demo name uh, DB2. Now it has taken those details, but what you have to do is basically you have to give your windows name. Now please give your machine name slash machine name slash your username. So basically if you have a domain name, you have to give the domain name also, and then you have to give your password. So make sure you give those details. And then once you are done with that, you can give that new connection as the name and then you can press next. Once you press next and at this time your data gateway should be up and running and signed in, making sure the data is reachable. And if the data is reachable, this step is going to bring you the tables. So it has bring me all the tables. You can click and see the preview. But to I'm going to what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on four of these tables. I do have a date table uh, in my SQL server, but right now I plan to bring only these four tables. So I check, click on them and um, you can quickly have a look at the data. These are the same four tables I'm using for all other purpose, uh, wherever I'm doing the uh, demo. So it, the files are available at GitHub in case you want. I usually give the GitHub description in my github link in my description so please go ahead and ch check out the github uh, description and you can load these files now the next thing which i'm going to make sure that uh, none of these columns contain a space in in all of these tables so i just quickly go ahead and do that and data types now because the data type is supported 
I am uh, pretty much fine with most of the data types. If it is not getting exact data type, it should not have any kind of a data type. You have to make sure that the data types are text, date, date, time, or number kind of data types. If if it is any kind of data type, just please go ahead and make sure that you go ahead and change it. Now, if I want, I can add a column here. Like if we want, we can go ahead and say, I want to add a custom column. So I'll tell you how to do that. So under the add column, under the add column, uh, menu you have this custom column you press on that custom column and you can give it as a name gross don't forget to give data type this is different from data flow or power query which you've seen little bit different you have an option to type a data type here always use that then price multiply by quantity is the column i want to create i'm creating a new column here so i have created a new custom column or calculated column and i have given a data type also now everything is ready no space I'm all set now under the home tab add data destination option available two places one here and one below right hand side below you can click off any one of those so click on a table and click on this one and we are going to use lake house because I'm plan to load this data into the lake house once I click on the lake house I need to go and select which workspace and which lake house so I'm going to select lake 03 the table name is sales underscore local every table I'm going to put this local next fine I got the details and I, I my all settings are correct I can see all that column mapping and they are mapped to the data types also and I say save once I save it I have to repeat this exercise for other tables also so right now I've done for this let me quickly try for another table and then maybe I can pause the video and I can do for all four of them and then let's see if it happens quickly then I'll do in front of you I need to see 01 fabric lake 03 next okay I got my table so I say save settings let me do for another two tables again at destination lake house next Fabric, 01 Fabric, Lake 03, Geography underscore local. Next. So I got the uh, mappings and these mappings are correct. This is for a new table. Again, I'm using a replace. I'm not want to append this. So I'm done with the three tables and any table you can click here and you can see where it has been mapped and which table it has been mapped. I just want to make sure I'm giving the local keyword here okay and sales where I've mapped okay so let's do for the last table item add destination lake house next 01 fabric lake 03 item underscore local next so I got the mapping everything is correct replace is also the same op replace option is the only one I want I say save setting so now my data flow gen 2 is ready data flow gen 2 name data flow 16 is ready for loading the data from a local database to the lake house in Microsoft fabric. So let me publish it now as you remember I've told in the past videos also is going to do a two step process first step is going to validate this one and you can see a rolling uh, image here a rolling gif you can say which means it's right now publishing and once the publish is over the rolling will shift on this area and you will see that you know the data load is ongoing so publish is one part where basically it's going to validate your data flow is correct and there is nothing wrong with that and the second step is going to trying to bring the data so second step is going to bring the data and that second step has begun right now and it's loading the data right now it will keep on moving like this and once data is loaded it will get finished once that is done the, after that I can click and go inside my data flow and can rename if I want or I can do directly to my lake and start analyzing the data in the lake data is successfully loaded but it has given me a few challenges couple of times so I'll tell you what I've done so if I go to the refresh history, you will see it has failed a couple of time and finally got succeeded. How it got succeeded, I'll tell you. 
so this is the error it was giving uh, which uh, like if i go into the details null could not uh, uh, find the entity because of the issue with the mashup so what i realized is basically i it is not able to take data from my local system so two things i have done one is basically i have went ahead and changed my internet uh, to work on the uh, different uh, wifi uh, where i was getting a better speed and second thing what i have done is i have taken three tables first the dimension tables and removed the mapping for the sales fact and then loaded it one go and second time i map it map the sales fact and loaded it so what it, it has identified there is only one change and finally it is able to load that fine so in that manner in couple of times i am able to load so in case you face some issue just make sure that uh, we have a good connectivity uh, from our on premise gateway which was not in my case so it took little bit of time but i was able to figure it out and able to load the data now the data is loaded time has come that i'll go ahead and check it out have i got enough data so i'll go to lake 03 i first go to the lake house and check it out how many tables i have so i have this customer local uh, which is the table which i created then i have geography local which is geography table which i created item local the item table which i created and sales local the sales table i have created now i would like to analyze it uh, using the sql endpoint or to way to go is either i go to the workspace and do it or on the right hand side top where the lake house is written highlighted in red right now and then you click on sql endpoint once i go to the sql endpoint i can write down queries of my choice by using inner join left join and outer join but right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just click uh, on this table says local right click and say select top 100 rows and let me select this query and say run i can get the 100 rows let me do count star i am expecting 30000 rows all 30000 rows has come now i can write down some complex query and analyze it but instead of doing that what i will prefer to do is i am going to create the power bi data model and here below i have option for model and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to create the model between uh, my local tables. So what I can do is uh, these are my four tables here. Let me bring sales here and then I can quickly connect them. So I bring city ID to city ID. Many to one single directional. I prefer using many to one uh, here that's working little bit better right now but it doesn't mean that the other side is not working then i want okay sometime it what it does is actually it pushes it so let me bring in customer local now here now customer local customer id to customer id and then finally i'll bring my card table which is item local let me drag it on that side and this UI is refreshing faster than I can do the things okay so final relationship item ID to item ID so item ID to item ID let's quickly create a major tool so we click on the uh, sales local here and then I can click on a new major my favorite gross measure I is nothing but sum of gross gross m is equal to sum of gross say is local sum of gross and here it little bit take time but even if you jump before it sh start showing you the name uh, my uh, experiences is do show that name into the report it has come now the time has come to go ahead and check it out into a power bi report so new report icon is available here whenever you are in the model it is available here so uh, you can click on the new report icon and in that new report icon we will get uh, our model and right now because there are multiple models and i am doing this because i am creating the same stuff again and again to showcase you i keep on bringing the same things at the same place but I'm going to bring brand from the item local and I'm going to bring a major from sales local. So which is gross M. 
and I can check it out. It would be same as bringing gross sum of gross. I can also bring in sum of cogs. And you can see how quickly I'm able to analyze the data. I can sum the quantity also. Now in this way, you can bring the data. Now after that, you can schedule your data flow to bring in new data. Just make sure a few things. The data gateway, the data gateway should be up and running always. It's signed in. Once you are able to make sure that these things are there, also make sure that uh, network connectivity is good to the gateway. That could be another uh, thing which could cause the failure. And you have seen that I have faced that. So make sure these things are uh, all working. And once you're working, you will be able to bring data from your local databases to Microsoft Fabric using the Power BI Gateway. So why don't you go ahead and try it out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.